Hey, I'm David Farrell, real estate broker at Nest Realty. Jim Duncan, broker at Nest Realty. We're sitting here at the beautiful rooftop, top of Piedmont Place in Crozet. We're here to talk about real estate in the third quarter of 2017. Mm -hmm. Strong figures, Jim. Sales were up from 105, from 76 last year, mm -hmm. up 38%. Year to date, we're at 264 sales in the area, up from 216. Interestingly, the, the, of that 105 that sold in Crozet, 35 of those were new construction, uh, median price of 597,000 for all. So that's attached and detached. Um, in the entirety of Albemarle County, inclusive of Crozet, median price for new construction was 539,000. So it's hmm. a big difference between Crozet and- Paying a premium to live in Crozet. Yes, very much so. What was the what was the median price for resales? I have three hundred and seventy thousand in Crozet. Three hundred seventy thousand in Crozet and uh, versus five ninety seven for new home. That's a big gap. That's a big gap. And uh, yeah, and all getting back to Albemarle County is three twenty. Uh, so three twenty for resale median median price and three seventy in Crozet for Crozet. It's uh, Crozet Elementary, right? Brownsville Elementary. Thanks for bringing that up. Not two two nine three two because. It's a little bit too broad. You were talking about affordability too. What, what, what were those figures? Uh, they, weren't, they weren't fantastic. Uh, uh, in third quarter uh, of all of the 105 homes that sold um, in all of Crozet, uh, only 32 were under $350,000. Which Any of those affordable? That is not affordable by a lot of people's definitions. No. Uh, four. Four were under 200,000. Four were under 200. Um, Sorry to hear that. So we've got, you know, we have some societal challenges ahead of us. Gotcha. Uh, new construction detached homes were up to $636,000 on average. Attached homes were $448,000. I've noticed they've started to build a few more villas mm -hmm. in Old Trail versus townhomes. So they're going sort of they're a little bit wider, two-story properties yeah. versus three stories. Yeah, Old Trail's different. I mean, they, they've, yeah. uh, in the last six, nine months, they've grown significantly in the, like, the East Village part. They have. Um, a lot more homes have been built there uh, than, I, frankly, I was expecting in the last 12 right. months. On a positive note, only one distressed sale in the quarter, which is the lowest we've had, I think, since the Great Recession started. We're hoping yep. to get that to zero one, one day soon. Mm -hmm. uh, there were seven land sales, which is up a little bit from the same time last year. And there were 15 sales in total over an acre. So that typically is properties that are in the surrounding area. Yeah, I mean, generally we've seen the bulk of the properties in Crozet have sold in neighborhoods right. um, under three quarters of an acre because that people tend, tend to want to be you know, closer to neighbors. A third of all sales in, in Crozet in third quarter were new construction, yep. uh, which is the same as last year. It's typically the same as last year. The big figure is that we were up 22% same year to year date sales wise. So it looks like we're going to be crushing 2016 total sales in Crozet if this pace continues. Yeah, I mean, it's um, for better or worse, continu sales continue to, to roll through. Uh, half of the properties went under, that went under contract had days of market under a month. And that's, that's for resales, I mean, not, not, not new construction, that's a, a different animal. Before we talk about some of the things happening in the neighborhood, you brought up a good point. People that are thinking about selling in the traditional spring market, you need to start thinking about that now. Yeah, generally, I mean, the, the trend line starts in you know, January, February, March, April, May, when volume of sales come on. Last year, February and March were huge months mm -hmm. in Crozet. Yeah. I, I know I'm taking exterior shots tomorrow for clients, we're taking them now while they're green rather than taking them in January. Yeah, the desolate January shots don't, don't really move something well. Something to think about. We've talked about new neighborhoods coming to Crozet. Mm -hmm. um, you and I noticed that the lot, the big nine acre lot that sits sort of behind the intersection of um, Park and Claudius in yep. Brookwood has yep. finally sold. So we think a developer will come in there and build right across the YMCA. I haven't heard yet what's happening there, but. No, I mean, I've got some things that, that I've heard, but I figured we'll, uh, we'll wait to see what, when they start breaking ground to, right. to start talking about it. It's going the F&R &R company, are, they're, yeah. they're moving from here to here. It's a cool building. Uh, we're in a drought. Coming up also, it's fall. I mean, the, my favorite time of year. Great time to get out and go to the apple orchards, go for a hike, leaves are gonna be changing. Arts and crafts festivals coming Arts up. Arts and crafts festival. Um, festival time. Yeah. It's just a great time to be in Crozet. I'm spending a lot of time in our new office here in Piedmont Place too. We're calling it Nest West. Yeah. We're gonna be in Nest West the third Thursday of every month. That's correct. Five to seven, Five talking to seven. about real estate. Talking about real estate. Yeah. Come in, have a beer uh, on us, and, uh, and just talk about what the market, yep. see what's going on.